Hey everyone, it's Christopher Robin here. Uh, well, you probably see the little surroundings around me are a little different. Uh, I'm on break right now from one of my jobs. Kind of felt like changing, putting on the Mario shirt instead of wearing the stupid other work attire. <coughs> well, <coughs> pardon me. A little dry out. Nice out, but dry weather. Uh, today's little video about... We all have, like, some sort of list, bucket list, um, of things we want to do, places we want to see, uh, people we'd like to meet. Uh, in some cases, some situations and things that have our control, we don't, we're not able to achieve those goals because, say, it's, say, Example, say it's places that don't exist anymore, there's things that have already happened before our time, or some of those people that we've always wanted to meet have passed on. Recently, some time ago, a long time ago, but today is a list of people that, my little list of, of people that I've always wanted to uh, meet, people I have met, and some that I never will have the... Uh, honor of ha doing in meeting, you know. I've always heard the term, don't meet your heroes. And I understand that. I, as a little kid, grew up watching a lot of, you know, TV and movies and everything. As I got older, I understood that these are peep, they're characters they play on screen. They're not really like that in real life. There's a difference. There is. Some out there that still have that image that, oh, no, they're like this. They're going to be like this, and then they meet them, and they're disappointed because they turn out to be somebody completely different, and they're, I guess, really bummed out. They shouldn't be. You should say, hey, I went out and met them. I found out. I can still have that image and that thing on the side of, hey, this is what they look like on the screen or TV compared to the person. But sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes they turn to be really cool people. But let's go down the list and get to it. <laughs> I'll just name them off and I'll tell stories real quick. <laughs> one, number one, the first three are, correction, the first three are uh, people who unfortunately no longer with us. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, Roddy Piper. Robin Williams. Uh, Michael Anthony and Sammy Hagar. Kurt Russell. I hope so. I hope to one day. Um, Larry Kenny. Uh, Peter Cullen. Jason David Frank. And last but not least, Mark Hamill. The Ultimate Warrior. Loved him as a kid. Really could not wait. I looked forward to Saturday mornings watching wrestling on Fox. I think it was, yeah, Fox TV. Uh... I was one of those people who was like, yeah, it's real. They're really like this. No, it's so, you know, I'm into it. But as I got older, I still, in my head, said it was real. But I knew deep down it wasn't. It was fake. They're actors. They're people who put on, you know, shows and entertainment for, you know, all our purposes. Uh, the thing was, uh, a couple years back, if I'm correct, he made an appearance, I think, in the Boston area and did autographs and all that. And my, I'll be honest... My anxiety back then was kind of a little through the roof, and I was fearful of, fearful of driving very far places, and that what's held me back. And I, I only wish, you know, because then you, I see WrestleMania 30, he gets, you know, to the highest honor of the Hall of Fame. He makes peace with a lot of people, and then, you know, he passed away two days later. That sucks. <laughs> the next one is uh, Roddy Piper. I met Piper only briefly at Rock and Shock 2014. I was walking around. I just came back from Providence after we had a meeting for Ryland Comic Con. I was so excited. I was going to be, you know, part of the, the photography team again. Awesome. So I went there with a mission. I'm like, I'm going to meet Doyle uh, from the Misfits. Well, the former guitarist, obviously, but 
you know, you get the drip, you picture, and Roddy Piper. And I kept walking around, and Piper's on his table, he's on his table. I was about to leave, and there he is. So I quickly walked over to him and just shook his hand and told him I really loved uh, WCW. And this, the voice, that distinctive voice, he was like, oh, the wars. He says, G come here, give me tell you a story. And he put his arm around me, and he says, by the way, I love the jacket. <laughs> you know, I had the patch jacket on with all the patches. And he just told me his quick story of how the whole thing with him and Hogan, they had no idea what he was going to do before the icon match and how he, he came out and did the whole thing with his knuckles pants icon. And he just said that it mind-fucked everybody. And he said, that's what, I, that's what I do. I mind, you know, F people. Satisfied. Uh, I know somebody, Johnny Ruckus, he's met Piper, and he's got some interesting stories. And if you don't know Ruckus, you should. He's a really cool guy. Tells it how it is, and I respect him for that. Uh, Robin Williams. The closest I got to was I went and saw him in 2008, two days before the election, you know, the big election with Obama and, you know, John McCain, woohoo, that whole debacle and it's a joke, but we'll move we'll on. Uh, me and my cousin went to Mohegan Sun Psalm. We were on the second f level and looked down. We were thinking in the second row. We looked down. There he is. Clear as day. Hilarious. Great stuff. Uh, I thought it was amazing. I mean, it was worth $150. It was one of the best shows I've seen to this date. So... <clears throat> I guess that's my way of saying I did get to meet him to a point. <laughs> Michael Anthony and Sammy Hagar. Ugh, the real Van Halen. Why do I have them on here? Because it... Ada Van Halen years ago when I was a teenager, I would have loved to have met. But after seeing... Just seeing him with the fallout with S Sammy to reunion with them to 04 to the same, you know, crap and him... Last year, bad-mouthing Michael Anthony, saying that his bass playing, he taught him how to play bass, and, you know, his vocal range is not the reason why Van Halen made it. Dude, really? What the heck bit your ass? I get you want your son to be part of the band, but, come on, man. It, you know, to attack two guys who, let's face it, they really brought that band really, really up there. David Lee Roth did his job and Sammy took over and ran with it. There's a reason why I have 5150, uh, you know, patch on the back of my jacket. Love the album. Great error. Those two guys, absolutely. Kurt Russell, <laughs> Jack Burton, uh, Snake Plissken, uh, what other characters? Used Cars, uh, Best of Times, all kinds of great movies he's done. That, that is just... That's one of those, like, please, please, somehow, by accident, somehow, some way. Larry Kenny. I met Larry Kenny. Um, Rhode Island Comic Con 2013. It was my first time doing a convention. I <clears throat> was walking around, <clears throat> shy, nervous, and once again, I just wasn't used to it. I'm like, okay... I can do this. <clears throat> I walked by and I talked to him before the thing really got busy on Saturday. And I just, you know, talked about anything and asked if I could take a photo, you know, show the highlights of the con. He said, go right ahead. And later on, I walked, I came back to see him and I had the jacket on. I had the Thundercats patch on the back. And I showed my wallet. And he really liked the jacket. He thought it was something to the point where last year at Terrific Con at Mohegan Sun, he was there. And I had my, the photo I took of him saved on my phone. I said, maybe he'll remember me, maybe he won't. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. And before I could say, you probably don't remember. And he says, well, yep, Chris, you had the patches. And blew my mind. And, uh, you know, really what, awesome guy. Really cool. Uh, my birthday last year, what really made, made my day really so special. I mean, was, my cousin got married. Great time. I loved it. Yeah, I was very honored to be part of his wedding. But, I mean, Larry Kennedy in the morning, I was looking at people wishing me birth happy birthday. He says, Larry Kennedy, wish you happy birthday. 
And I just smiled from ear to ear, and I showed my cousin. He said, wait, that's awesome. Uh, so him down, him flat out, great guy. <laughs> Peter Cullen, he was at Rhode Island last year with Frank Welker. I wanted to meet him, but ticket prices for the whole meet and greet was a little expensive. And also I was working. Chances, believe it or not, by chance, they needed help upstairs. Uh, the uh, photographer they hired, his team, was doing the Amy Jo Johnson signing and meet and greet. And I went upstairs. I said, look, if they, he needs help, I'm going up no matter what. And I did. I talked to him briefly, shook his hand. I asked him if he had he knew uh, Rosemary and Tony, this couple that does RetroCon down in Pennsylvania, because they've been to every bar con, and I figured maybe he'll know who I'm talking about. I believe, I think they've met him. I'm pretty sure they have. And Greg Berger, who does Grimlock and Variety Voices, knew who they were instantly when I asked him. Instantly. But the, the recording he did for the uh, panel, him telling the story... And him doing that voice, it's goosebumps. Satisfied. <laughs> Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, the one and only, the White Ranger. He is. I'll be honest. I um, I was a, I liked Power Rangers, but I had that guilty little thing when I was a teenager. I'm like, no, I don't like them. But deep down, I did. And then over time, you know, I just kind of forgot about it. But um, <clears throat> there's two things why I'd like to meet him. Once again, going back to 2013, Rhode Island Comic Con. I was nervous as hell. My anxiety at that time was just really bad. It just so many people were there, and I just... I lacked confidence then. I didn't think I could do it. But in the process, I went by... Hopefully this does not... Come on. You can see that picture, hope it doesn't fade away. That photo, if it's clear enough, that changed... Oh, man. I think you saw it. Let's do it again. <laughs> Bottom line is, I took that photo out of many photos, and that, after seeing that that was put on the website with several others, boosts my confidence. And it showed me that there's a guy right there with a little kid signing autographs, and he seems like a pretty cool guy. So I hope to meet him at this Rhode Island Comic Con coming up, man. Five years. Woo! 50th anniversary, baby. Better be there. It's in November. Stan Lee and a whole bunch of other surprises. Trust me. Go. Do not. Do not hesitate. Go. <laughs> and last but not least is Mark Hamill. Growing up as a child, watching him as Luke Skywalker. Uh, to, and believe it or not, I was a teenager watching Batman, the animated series, and it took me a couple episodes, and then I saw the cast, the names, and I'm like, Mark Hamill, I said, who's he doing? I'm like, the Joker? He does, wait, he, wait a minute, Luke Skywalker is doing the voice of the most iconic comic book villain of all time. Genius. Uh, he was at Cambridge, <clears throat> I think two months ago, I had learned that when I went out to Boston to this uh, masquerade ball, and I found out when I'm on Facebook waiting to meet up with somebody, and I said, if only I'd known, I would have went to it. If I don't know if it was allowed only to students or for the public, but damn it. So that's one of those, like, I hope so. One day, I hope. If not, hey. I won't be just, I'm not, uh, blah, 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 blah. back up. <laughs> if not, then, you know what, so be it. Uh, it's enough, enough of me yapping away. I've been talking quite a while. But, that's, there you go. There's my list of people that I've met, have met, and would love to meet. Because they're people like me and you. You know, I've gotten past that whole, when I was younger, that whole, oh, oh they're, they're I, no, they're not my heroes. They are just average day people like, once again, me and you, you know, they just do something different. They act, and they have other things that go on in their lives. And 
that's it. Check out the video, check out some more, please subscribe, and once again, November, I'm telling you people, five years, 50th anniversary, Ron and Comic Con 2016, come on down, and have fun with us.